What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating the new Chrome OS feature set wallpaper style on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5 you see here. Interesting enough, this new feature comes in an update and is available all the way back to the Pixelbook up to the HP Chromebase. So many Chrome OS devices should be supported within and around these timeframes. Now this is a simple yet functional feature that hints at Chrome OS maturing into something more feature rich. As for this video, it's featured on the Chromebook Chrome based playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about what's going on here. Now before we do so, I want to mention that I'm using the built-in mic on the Lenovo Chromebook 5 so you can get an idea of what mic performance is like for this device. Now, again, you may have to check for an update for your device in the About Chrome OS section of the settings to actually get this update. So once this feature is enabled, you may see some visual changes, mainly in this bottom bar here, we call it the shelf. And it seems that if it's daytime, the shelf is going to be more of a white opaque glass color. And if it's nighttime, it's going to be this color that you see here. It's more of a dark opaque glass color. Now we can go ahead and change this by going to the main area here. You may refer to this as a desktop and you may have to press Alt and then click on the touchpad. And then we could go to set wallpaper and style. And this opens up a new page here where we'll have wallpaper on the left and screensaver on the right. So we're going to start with wallpaper and you can see that we can actually click on the wallpaper image that opens up all our available wallpaper options. Simply select the one you would like. And then to return to the previous screen, we're going to click on the house in the top left-hand corner. And that brings us back to the previous screen. Underneath this, we have theme and auto is going to be the default setting, which means that ideally during the day, again, you're going to have that white opaque glass color. And during the night, you're going to have that dark opaque glass color. Now you can choose dark and that means you'll have dark all the time or you can choose light which means that you'll have light all the time. You could actually see how this changes the window too. So it doesn't only affect that bottom bar. Again we call that the shelf. It seems to affect your windows as well. Now for me light is too bright. I go with dark. It feels easier on my eyes. And next we have screensaver which is turned off by default. So to turn it on we would want to click on turn on and then this opens up a new page. So first we can set our screensaver animation. Now I have it set the slideshow, but our other options are feel the breeze and float on by. And you can see these look like they're going to be pictures from possibly your library here. And that makes a lot of sense because if we go down here, we have our image source. It could be Google photos or it can be the art gallery which is curated artwork and images from Google. And lastly, we have weather. So depending on your region and your preference, you can choose between Fahrenheit or Celsius. And again, to back out of this, we would scroll up to the top and we can click on that house icon in the top left hand corner. And that brings us back to the previous page. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on if you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they'll think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.